What's up, y'all? Welcome to School of Fab. It's another great day to have a great day. And guess what? We've got mail. Mail day. Mail day. <laughs> Man, let me show you something cool. What'd you get today? Now, I know y'all have seen my apron. Oh, you got something. But let me take it to another level now. It's back. Dude, look at this. It's been in the repair shop. <laughs> you added me some spots for my marker, for my digital caliper, for my tape measure, tape measure for my scissors. I'll tell you what, where is it at? Panther Leather Company. Pat Man. Stevens. Pat Stevens, great job, but let me tell you something. When I put this thing on now, you talk about feeling like a Viking. I'm on another level right here. Get your armor on. Yup. So, very nice. man, very nice. Great job. Thank you so much, man. This is so cool. Very no cool. lie. Let's take a closer look at the detail. Show oh, the wow. Details. He, um, he like stamped. What? You're naming it. I've got to see. <laughs> oh, wow. So now, what else brings these? More to explore. More to Speedway. Explore. Okay, now this is where we have our bear claw latch kit, door latch kit. It's the slim style. It's a new advanced style. Before it was this big bulky thing. This is what we had before. Let me move this out the way. I'll show you the before. See this beauty right here? That's a latch. What we're attempting to do is remove this big old bulky thing and replace it with this. Okay, and as you see, there is a couple major differences in both of these. Like here, the mechanism works this way where it latches here. But you see on this one, it unlatches from the side and mine is straight up and down. So, so your striker would have to do some gun. Okay, there we go be attached to here there's this pretendence there okay. so when the door shuts this has to fall into this and say click well, right there and then when you pop the door handle open it says your release so what we have to do is figure out how to make it work this part will go here to figure out the door handle. Plan for today, since we're moving along, we've got the front of the frame painted. Everything is in port 15. Everything looks shiny, nice, solid, but I just ordered this. So I'm gonna wait until we get it. I'm gonna cut it out on a plate, bolt it onto the plate. Once I do, I'll weld my plate to here. My holes will already be connected to my bulkhead. So mm -hmm. we have a black one on the way, which will match the firewall, match the frame, match the body. It'll match the entire truck. So that, today, we'll be putting this together. We'll be putting the doors together because I have to do one last test fit. Even though I said I wasn't gonna test fit it again, I was gonna put it on one last time. Well, I lied to myself and we're gonna put it on one last time before pulling it off for paint and That'll guarantee us that this thing's gonna be lined up square and we won't have to worry about it when we go to assemble. Oh, and I still have to weld my rear piece. So yeah. okay. that's all on my agenda for today. I'll be done in two hours. Everything is dry. Everything's been coated and everything is dry now. So now what I'll do is I will set these exactly where I want them and once I get my height which I like the way that looks and the reason I like it is because it's a little bit higher than where it was before and it fills in more of that gap and even though we really won't see it because we've got the bumper going there it's just a cool look you know there's nothing wrong with making something look good, even though 
no one will see it. Look at it again. Where are we at? Four and seven eighths. Four and seven eighths in the middle. We're still at four and seven eighths. And right here, we're still at four and seven eighths. So, what I'll do is I'll clamp it maybe one more time over here. And then I'll mark my line. I'll pull it off one time, I'll cut it, I'll put it back on. Once I do, that's the final line. We'll start welding on it. I'll probably clean some of this port 15 just so I don't have to weld through it. Okay, there it is. Little piece we come off. Now that we've got our metal cleaned up, one last measurement, three and seven eighths, because I don't want to lose that. Because if I do, then all this is meaningless. Here we go. Very nice. So I put, I rub my hand against it. You know, I'm trying to feel for any waves, anything that move back and forth, but it feels really straight. And back here, my line, everything feels real nice. There's a there's another panel behind it, and with my fingers, I can run it across. And it's like running it here. You feel this slip in the, the bottom, and it's even all the way. Small details, so here's the piece that I took off. You see how flimsy it is? Definitely 18 gauge. It's weird how they use 18 and 14. But it's very sharp. The piece I put is a little bit round. And if you look at the size. A little bit bigger. I made it just a little bit bigger. And I know some of you are thinking, like, why make it bigger? I mean, Look at that, it just looks a little bit nicer. Obviously you're not gonna see it because of the bumper, but if it ever comes off, you know that you have a nice piece, something different. That's solid. So now next step, I'm gonna clean this up, lift up the bed and epoxy, I mean pour 15. We're actually gonna use pour 15 on the inside of the bed. So we'll lock in this whole bed and it'll it'll never rust like seriously you're not getting through this poor 15. Um, this whole truck is coated in poor 15. Yes so therefore <laughs> it is protected for a super long time. I'll get my DA real quick and sand this down and then we'll lift the bed up and get started on the inside of the bed. All right. Here we go. Yeah, there we go. Hang on to it, kind of lean back as we, oops. <sighs> Beautiful. So we finally made it to the moment. Our bed has been cleaned, and I don't know if you can see it from there, but from here it's looking really nice and straight. So I got my 3M air file belt and my 3M air file belts, 80 grit, and I came in here on all the edges and cleaned them up just so we get a nice, crisp edge. Very nice. Yeah, small details, you know. They matter. They do matter at the end of the day. Yeah, I'll start off in here with the difficult areas first, and then I'll come out here and coat everything, and you guys just watch it get coated. I was gonna paint it, but then I changed my mind, because if I paint it, stuff's gonna float everywhere. I don't know. I might still do it anyways. Let me get all the hard spots first and then I'll make up my mind once <laughs> I'm there. <laughs> so. Scary. Probably not though, because then we'll have to plastic the truck and plastic my toolbox and probably not. I'll probably just end up brushing it on. Oh, and then 
Let me turn this over just to here. Oh, uh, yeah. oh, you see that maneuvering? So, I left the hard work for Laura. <laughs> <laughs> because, <laughs> you know, I mean, got to break her in properly. So, uh, <laughs> she's going to be coating the underside of the cab and make sure that it's all coated uh, really well. There's a couple of those spots that need to be crud dug, but we're going to handle it and um, get it cleaned up, wiped down, same process. And I think we're going to be done with pour 15 after that. Hopefully, because I've got it on my ear, my head. Oh, well, it's finally coming off your head. It's coming off my head. We'll be done with pour 15 after this. And then everything after this will just be straight body work, primering, sealing, painting, but a lot of blocking and primering. So we'll try to make it as enjoyable as we can because a lot of it, I mean, what, that's why no, no shows show the body work process because. Because yeah. um, it's just going to be us blocking. Right. And, and it's over and over and over. So we'll try to make it as fun as possible. We'll throw in some. Uh, Cartoons or something, I don't know. <laughs> you know, as unenjoyable as it is to watch, it is unenjoyable to block. <laughs> <laughs> I, like with, I like the results of blocking, but just not blocking. It's definitely a love-hate relationship, because let me tell you, when I'm blocking, I'm regretting every day of it, you know? But at the end of the day, when I paint something that nice snow yeah. like I wouldn't do it I really wouldn't I'd be like I'm sorry you need to fix that body work before I come in here and uh, lay it down strange. so all right so I was getting a little ahead of myself I was about to bolt it on and then I noticed that all oh, this is the framer still. So I've got a big dent in here, I'm gonna go ahead and fix it. I'm just gonna cut it out, beat it, weld it back in, smooth it out, throw some body work on there and get this thing in primer. And hopefully tomorrow we can pick up some paint and we will start painting this. And since all of this is you know first primer we'll go ahead and block it down and get it ready for a second primer so when I primer this I will primer this entire front radiator support you only see this area only okay so here's my den of course here's got the headlight covers here the grill sits here and then the hood covers the rest so the main area that gets seen this little box so I have to fix the square. You know how it goes. <laughs> but yeah, we'll get it done. And this is some super thick metal. That's why I'm not going to cut it out. I'm not even going to play, beat around the bush, try to, you know, get my dead puller and try to pull it out. There's, you know, by the time I get that done, I done had it cut out, beat, and load it back on. So let's get it done.
Hey. Hello. I heard you got some more stuff in the mail. I sure did. Look what I got. Ah. So now instead of having these ugly rubber hose coming out the firewall, we're going to have some nice... I'm going to go with all black. I'm liking the whole black theme. We did change all our hardware into black stainless. So I think black on black on black would just look super cool. Right. Stick with the theme. Exactly. I like it. Still have to do the door latches. I've got one door on. I need to put the other door on here in a minute. Okay. I really want to knock this out because this will be the last of the welding. So okay. once I knock this out, it'll just be putty work and a bunch of elbow grease. We have removed all the wiring from the front. So we had to pull it all the way from the back and get it all the way through this hole. I made the hole a little bit bigger so we were able to get it through. And I think it's gonna get rewired and hopefully they run the wires over here where they're hidden. Yeah. So I made me a little template. I'm about to go cut it out and then I'll come back here Get it welded in, grind it. Here we are. What'd you get? What they say, another day, another dollar. <laughs> Shoot. So yeah, we've pulled all the wiring out of the front. Yeah. Completely out. We stuck it through the hole. We had to remove all the wiring from the rear, run it back through the frame, and we've got it. It's gonna get all rerouted and um, some great plans for it in the future, so we're just getting prepped. Um, I do have to shave these buttons, but luckily I will be able to shave them and cut half of it off, weld it, cut the other half off, weld it, you know. There'll be a little bit of pain back here, but... Not too bad. Yeah, I'll get it. So after that, we can finish body working the firewall. Um, get it in primer that way we can try to paint this firewall because I want to lock in this entire front end hopefully this weekend we are working all weekend all weekend so so you've got the hole plugged right there yep hose and then that plugged. one too the heater hose um, holes are now plugged also because I've showed y'all our aluminum bulkhead and we ended up going with black. We're gonna go side to side instead of up and down because all this is getting changed. So we're just gonna go with the new design. I think it'll be mm -hmm. great. So a lot of progress getting done, a lot of work getting done. Then we have the radiator support. So we came in here, fixed all the dents, and now I'm just test fitting the headlight covers. I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and fix these headlight covers while I'm here. You see there's a little tear there, so I have to beat that down. I'll throw a spot weld in there. And then we'll come back here and test fit them and make sure that all this fits the way it's supposed to. You know, if not, we'll tweak it and make it fit. The radiator support itself, body worked. Got that spot fixed. Got the spot fixed, the big dent. Y'all yeah, remember I cut it out, beat it, welded it back in, pulled some dents there, pulled some dents here. We did end up going back to Harbor Freight again, and we ended up buying a, what is it called? The spot weld? Um, um, let me look. Oh. There it is, right there. Okay, this the stud welder kit so we ended up buying that and once we bought that we were able to pull some dents a little bit easier uh you some know of the me smaller um, ones do what some of the smaller ones right right some of the smaller ones but it really helped with the tailgate it really helped with this once i get these fitted the radiator support i'm planning on prepping and painting because i have to start putting this front end on ASAP and when I bolt it on all this is going to get covered so I need to make sure to get some paint 
on it before we cover it. And my fenders, I can't forget about my fenders. Play a huge role in my front end. But my little um, inner fenders, those go right beside the motor. I'm getting those in primer as well today because they're getting painted also this weekend. Got a lot to do. <laughs> yeah, so I can start installing. What's good is that I don't have all my all my bolts. We ordered all new hardware, and at first we're getting stainless, and now we decided to do black stainless. <laughs> Man, this is so uh. cool. So here's the front, first blocking on it. You see that all the little imperfections are starting to come out but it's going to look really good when we're finished the back side yep we shot some primer on it so it's now dry real good looks good and uh very nice it looks real nice yeah it does look real nice so we'll probably do the same thing block it reprimer it again just because you can never trust one primer i know i've done it before but that was back when i was doing collision work and uh, we got paid by production, not quality. <laughs> so <laughs> this is a quality shop, not a production shop. There you go. So true story. Big difference. Big difference. Right. All right. Am I working on anything today, or we're getting ready to head out for the chop? Yep, we're getting closer to days, so chop day. I'm kind of doing more a different type of production. So I'm not really in shop this week much. Nope. You're kind of a, a lone ranger. Yeah. Know, for most of the time. That's all right. Time lapse, put my earphones in, you know. <laughs> get in the zone and just go to work, you know what I mean? But we're almost done, and that's good. Because all that I'm worried about is the finish line. At all costs, it's got to get done. So we're almost there, folks. We are almost, We're almost there. there. So thank you for supporting us. Thanks for hanging out. Thanks for hanging out. All right. Quick little back step because I work too fast. We'll do the whole punch. I have a small little kit. The way I determined what size I was going to use was I know that this has to go through. It fit. Very nice. So I put my cup in there, I stick it through a small hole the size of this diameter, that way it will fit through. And then on the other side, I put this on until it touches. Once I do, then I'll tighten this bolt up. And what it does is you see it just pulls it in, pulls it in, pulls it in until it completely breaks through the skin. And then you pull it apart again, and voila, you got a little hole. And you're left with this. And you're left with a little washer looking thing. And my pieces are fitting in. I gotta do a little bit of uh, filing, but overall, nice it's fit. gonna work. So, I think that looks pretty good. I'll trim it, get it to fit real nice, and then move on to the next. Firewall. All right, we've got a plate welded in. We've got our hose drilled out. Oh, down the glass. oh, there it is. And some dining glass to reinforce all this. This firewall was actually really lumpy 
And whenever I welded my plate, I had to hammer all this down because it was just lumpy. Like, I don't know what happened in there, but it's fixed and we're good now. Like lumpy just from like... Like lumpy felt like a bag of potatoes lumpy. Yeah. And, and yeah, so when I put my flat plate on there, it was all sticking out. I'm like, why is it sticking out so far? So just got my hammer, beat it flat. And Do you think that's like heat over the years from like the engine maybe? No, it looked kind of beat up. It looked okay. a little bit um, like dense okay. coming outwards. You know what I mean? It really did look, look pretty beat up. I don't know if they hammered it out from the inside. I don't know. There's no telling on these old vehicles, especially if it was a farm truck at one time, which chances are it probably was. Very true. Mm -hmm. I will get this bodywork primer. That way we can paint the firewall once we paint the firewall. And then we can install the front end and the front end we are going to primer our little inner fenders today so oh, yes. nope. um, here is my tailgate as you guys know I've been working this tailgate and I've got it here and now it's in maybe final primer we're gonna primer it we're gonna wet sand it if it looks straight we're gonna paint it if it doesn't we're gonna Add some more primer to it until it looks good. So that's where we're at. Our first steps to getting the front end put together are these two inner fenders. And you see how neat they are. They've got all these cool factory bead rolls. And um, they'll just look real nice. So we're going to primer them real nice, get some good filler primer on them, and smooth them out and shine them up. Ready for reinstall. Yep, ready for reinstall. So. I'm ready to see how this puzzle gets put back together. That's a new one. I don't think I've ever been a part of, um, I've helped you in the shop before, like sanding and, right. you know, throughout the years, but the put together, that's a totally new one. Like I've never had the... <laughs> Well, it takes a whole lot of patience and time. Yeah. And um, I think we're out of both. <laughs> and, no. Uh, now it yeah. takes a lot of patience to put it back together, but it's just so worth it, you know, once it's all buttoned up and it just looks complete, you know? Yeah. It makes a huge difference. So I'm pretty excited. I'm very happy with it so far. After these get done, I'm probably gonna body work the Valance one more time because I've only worked it and primed it one time. So I need to check that. And then I'm gonna start on the doors. The fenders are kind of beat up. The fenders are kind of beat up. The lip where somebody tried to roll it in because the front wheels are too wide. Well, they did a good job of rolling it in, but when they did, they sucked all the whole fender inward. And I'll show you when we get there, you know what I mean? Because I'm going to have to beat these back out. And that's, I'm not looking forward to it because it's just, at the end of the day, extra work. But I knew they looked weird. I should have put my hands on them earlier. So, but we're at it's where awesome. we're at and you know, yeah, we'll get it fixed. 